Good afternoon, this is Jan and this is my kitchen and today I'm going to cook rabbit. First I will put some salt and pepper. I use quite an amount of black pepper. This cayenne pepper gives it some more aromatic spiciness. Olive oil in a hot pan. And then the rabbit goes in to give it some color. One, two. Then I'm going to replace the pan with red wine. This is the wine I'm cooking with. It's a blend of Grenache and Syrah from Somatano, Spain. It's quite fruity, it's not too strong, so it, uh, it's okay for with the rabbit. It's time to put in the aromatics, which is carrot. Well, of course, we know that the rabbits and carrot they go very well together. Celery, and of course, shallots. I add some water, some more wine. Potato. The potatoes, I cut them quite small, contrary to the vegetables, because I wanted potato to be very starchy and like integrate into the stew. Let's not forget the herbs and the spices like thyme. Rosemary. Some additional cayenne pepper, parsley, tomato to give it extra acidity and flavor. Last but not least, some secret ingredient which is a mustard. This is a Polish mustard, it has much flavor. Well, this one, because this brand has got a, a big range of uh, different mustards. This one is called a Russian mustard. It's quite spicy. Stir it one more time. And I put it on the lid. And now we're going to leave this for about one hour. You know, it can be 50 minutes, it can be 70 minutes, but we check once in a while. This still looks like it's ready as far as I'm concerned, so let's plate it up. First I will take the biggest chunk of meat. This one. And then I put some of the stew around it. This is the rabbit on my plate. I'm gonna eat this with a Thai spoon, very easy spoon to eat. So I'll try the stew first. This has got enough flavor. I'm gonna eat the rabbit with my hands because that is more easy. It's hot. Now that is tender, flavorful. I want to thank you for watching this video and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.